Hello, Professor Herzog and fellow classmates. Today, Group A is going to be talking about the pros and cons of Biden's loan forgiveness plan. So before we actually jump into the pros and cons, we're going to talk about how much student loan debt there is across the United States and what the actual plan entails. So if we talk about student loan debt um, across the United States, it totals to about $1.7 trillion dollars so if you take that individually for students it cost about thirty seven thousand six hundred and sixty seven dollars per student so biden's goal with this plan is to be able to relieve some of that financial debt on students and working families because especially as colleges start to grow more and cost more tuition um, working families and students are not going to be able to afford them so what the actual plan is and if you are a pell grant recipient you can receive up to $20,000 in debt cancellation. Well, if you're not a Pell Grant recipient, there is a chance still of getting $10,000 in debt cancellation. The, um, the thing with that one is you have to make under $125,000 a year to receive that debt cancellation. So now that we know um, how much student debt totals across the United States and what the actual plan is, we'll let's jump into some of the pros and cons of Biden's college loan forgiveness plan. One problem or con with the Biden loan forgiveness plan is that the debt that's being forgiven isn't necessarily erased from the face of the earth. It is just transferred to taxpayers from those who incurred the debt. So say a taxpayer who chose a career that didn't require any college expenses, they now through their tax dollars have to cover other people's student debt. The same thing applies with students who paid off their debt by working hard or saving up or earning scholarships, they not only paid for their student debt, but now through their tax dollars have to pay for other people's student debt. That's just not very fair. I believe that the government should take initiative to lighten the load a little bit, but just not at the expense of others. Student loan debt has stunted a generation of Americans from completing milestones such as getting married, buying a house, and saving for retirement. A pro of Biden's forgiveness plan is that it would stimulate positive economic decisions. From 2005 to 2014, uh, student loan debt prevented 400,000 people from buying homes. This accounted for the 25% decrease in home ownership. Another statistic that supports that student loan debt has hindered graduates is that women with bachelor's degrees odds of getting married decreased by 2% per month for each increase in $1,000 of student loan debt in the four years after they graduate. Removing this burdensome debt positively affects individuals and households by boosting financial well-being, credit, job stability, and home ownership early in life as well as family stability. Choosing to get a degree to better compete in the job market shouldn't hinder people from living the American dream. A con for Biden's student loan forgiveness plan is that it isn't completely fair to the students that have already been through college, put in the time and effort into paying off their student debt. Um, many of the families would never get that money back and it could have went to more important things. Um, obviously, students have had to put in extra time, effort, and extra hours into getting the weight of the student debt off their backs over the years. Um, another con that I've found is that many students don't actually need help paying off their student debt. So this money that Biden is willing to give wouldn't actually um, benefit the families that are still paying off student debt. Um, studies have shown that student debt is quite manageable whenever you um, graduate from a college with a four-year degree. So that when Biden forgives the $10,000 for a student that makes under $125,000 wouldn't actually benefit in the way that it's supposed to. Today I will be talking about an, uh, a pro of Joe Biden's Student Loan Act. Pro of this act that it will chip away at the racial wealth gap. It would, rep it would represent a small but meaningful step towards reducing the tilt towards people with lower incomes, especially black communities and families. It, it would give them um it would put them in a good position to start to work their way up out of the the just the gap that we have between the between the two this plan could revolutionize the amounts of students that struggle with paying back student loan debt it would just get them a whole lot easier way to come back to or come to college it would 
wouldn't make it as hard as a decision knowing they have a way to pay off the student loans. A con that I found in this act is that it does nothing to address the underlying issues of outrageous college costs. Instead, it's actually promoting and rewarding colleges for making education so unaffordable. Another con of this act would be the $125,000 income limit. Instead of basing debt cancellation off income, I would argue that wealth, a person's assets, minus or debts, should be considered when you're creating a cancellation plan. So to wrap everything up, today we talked about Biden's loan forgiveness plan, and I hope y'all enjoyed watching.